guys, welcome to the Am I Gardener Midweek Snack. My name is Cindy, and as you guys know, the holidays are approaching. It's time to spend some quality time with your family, eat some delicious food, and also to give gifts that come from the heart. And for this, I'm going to actually be making a little bit of a series in Christmas gifts that you guys can create at home. I love DIY gifts. I love receiving them and giving them as well. I think they're so touching because of all of the effort and thought that goes into them. So I am preparing for you guys two to three episodes in how to make these DIY Christmas gifts. Now they're all going to be using mason jars. And as you guys know, fellow gardeners, we do use mason jars. I personally love how versatile they are. There's so many uses to them. And I think they're a wonderful gift because it can be used in separate ways afterwards um, as the gift is given to them. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. Stay tuned. And first in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare an awesome cacao butter lotion. And it's just divine. I really love it. And it's also super versatile because maybe you want to make some lip balm so you can make it as a lotion or use it as a lip balm too. And it's all friendly for both male and female. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, guys, for this recipe, you're going to use five ounces of, of extra virgin coconut oil. Just make sure it's unrefined and one and a half ounces of beeswax. And you can readily find this at your local craft store, such as a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby as well. Super easy to find. And for our third ingredient, you're going to need is cocoa butter. And this you can actually find in most health food stores. And we're only going to be using two ounces of cocoa butter for this and it's super fragrant it just smells just like white chocolate you may want to melt it a little bit before you use it just so you can easily put it in to mix it in with the other ingredients and then as our fourth ingredient and final ingredient we're going to use shea butter just two ounces and it's super nice because it just seals in all of the moisture for your lotion it has a really nice consistency it's almost like frosting it's just divine All right, guys, to store these amazing lotions, we're going to use four ounce mason jars. And they're super tiny, but again, if you guys do want to go all out and make a bigger jar, you're more than welcome to. Or find a different kind of jar you'd like to do it, you're more than welcome to as well. And then also, um, I couldn't find actually the chapstick containers to add our lip balms in, but no worries. I actually found these at the container store, a dozen of these for about two bucks or so. And so they're super affordable, and they, I think they look really nice as well. Next tip up is I wanted to share with you guys and how to decor your little mason jars just to add some kind of personal touch or you might just go something that is super simple up to you. I found these little glass pebbles at a craft store and all I'm going to do is going to glue gun all these little pebbles all around the outside of the little mason jar just to add kind of a different look and feel to it. And then after that, I'm just spray painting the entire bottle with this copper spray paint and I just think it's a really wonderful color and it's just kind of festive but at the same time it's subtle enough for people to actually have um, be able to reuse this little gift to add maybe paper clips or add a candle really up to them or maybe just hold pens so the choices are endless so this is why I really really like decoring it so that way it has just kind of personal touch and feel. So up next, you guys want to prepare your double boiler. I don't have like a professional one, so all I'm doing is boiling some water underneath and then I'm going to just use a heat resistant bowl so that way I can just melt and concoct the entire lotion together. And after that, I'm just going to prepare all the sizes so that way I can just easily pour everything in as I go. And there is just kind of a little bit of a science and timing with this. So first, you want to make sure that you pour in your five ounces of the coconut oil into the stove make sure it just kind of melts completely and it's just kind of a clear color at first it's going to be a little bit grayish and after that you're going to be adding your beeswax now it gets a little bit tricky with cutting your beeswax but you want to make sure that it's a nice nice little size of it and just after your coconut is all clear you're going to start adding your beeswax and that's the only one that takes a little bit longer to make sure that it melts completely nicely now in goes our first ingredient the coconut oil and then after that like i said is the beeswax just make sure it's nicely all melted down the 
this is the type of consistency it's just gonna look really really clear the coconut oil and also I made a little bit of a mistake I should definitely have had cut in the um, beeswax just in a little bit smaller chunks so you guys definitely go ahead and do that just so it smells nicely and then lastly what we're gonna do is start adding the cocoa butter and then afterwards you're gonna start adding the shea butter after that you're ready to transfer them into your little containers let's go And voila, here are the results. I poured them all one by one and I'm so delighted with the results. They're just wonderful. They're the perfect texture for the lip balm, for the lotion. I love the scent of them. But you guys can definitely personalize it even a step further by adding during the melting process your favorite essential oil, about six to eight drops or so. And you can use like lavender if you want something more relaxing or personalize it to that person's personality. Now, just to give you guys a heads up for watching this far, I'm actually going to be giving one of these little lip balms away. All you have to do is comment down below and let us know that you're interested in a free lip balm and I will definitely send it over to your home. And this is just another idea. Maybe you want to spray paint it two tones and whatever kind of colors you want, go for it. Now, lastly, I just wanted to show you a little bit of a close-up of what I did to give this as a gift. I just add a little bit both and that is it. Enjoy! All right guys, so it's, as you guys can see, it's super simple to do at home and now let's give it a try. Here is one of my little lip balms and these are super affordable at the container store. They're about two bucks for 12 of these. So, and I actually had about a total of 10. So super, super nice. And they actually do have also um, a lot of different colors as well. So now let's um, give it a try and oh, it smells divine. It smells just like white chocolate like oh, here we go so I'm getting just a little bit and remember a little bit goes actually a long way with this um this lotion lip balm so as you guys can see it gives a nice little shine to your lips and it's super super hydrating and it's just a great lotion also like you can use it like for your cuticles and your nails you can use it for your um elbows too if they're dry or any kind of little bit of a chap skin that you have or just all over your body so i really can't wait to give these to my friends my family see if they like them so um and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for more because I'm definitely going to be uploading more episodes and these Christmas gift ideas and also some holiday recipes too. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and a fresh new week actually. I love you guys all. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.